Hey guys, Mason here. So today we're doing something a little different. This actually was a requested video by one of my friends out of state. She has a daughter that is going to her first prom. So I obliged and said, I will create a makeup look for you. So today we're going to be basing our makeup off of her dress, which is blue. So hi Dwan and Dwan's daughter. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I've been feeling really sick the past couple of days and I think I have another infection or at least the infection I had before is back so I'm sick again so it it's not fine and I'm sorry about the noise give me one second no noise so today's look is going to be inspired by that we're going to be using a lot of dusty oranges and nice browns and to top it off on the lid because the dress is blue we're going to be doing some blue fun stuff so watch it and have fun you necessarily don't have to use the exact same products as me to achieve this look use what you have and just have fun with it so here we go so first like always we are going to be starting out with skincare to tone my skin, I'm going to be taking the Body Shop's Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner. And I'm going to be putting it on a cotton round. Also, sorry that my face looks really red today. Um, I tend to get a really red face when I have an infection. So, let's just pretend it's not there. <laughs> Now before we do anything else, I'm going to prime my lips with a lip balm and I'm using Chanel's Rouge Cocoa Balm, which is probably one of the next best lip balms I have ever used compared to Dior's Creme de Rose, which I have no clue what happened to. I can't find it anywhere and everywhere sold out and I haven't heard any news about it, so I don't know. So I'm just going to be applying this on my lips to prep everything for later. Now for moisturizer, I'm going to be using another Chanel product that I have a sample of. It's the product called Le Lift, and I have this tiny little bottle right here. Um, it seems like it's a good moisturizer from what I've read, <laughs> and it's good for anti-aging. And they say you should start your anti-aging regimen in your early 20s, and I have, so <laughs> just going to pat gently on my face to start out and rub it in very gently in an upwards motion it smells really good you guys and it feels like satin <laughs> that's that's the best word i can use to describe this product is it feels like satin <laughs> so next i'm going to be using illusions eye love which is a cream for contouring your eyes getting rid of dark circles etc because my eyes have just been so gross lately from allergies and it's, it's not fun. They're so dry and not very attractive. <laughs> so I'm using a decent amount today, patting it on first and gently sweeping it upward. It'll also help give me a better base for my eyeshadow after I put my primer on since my skin is very dry right now. Now on to priming. So for my face, I have two products, and we're first going to be starting out with Dr. Jart's Chicka Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, which I already have on the back of my hand. And as you can see, it is green. But once you start mixing, into, mixing it into your skin, it starts turning more of a skin tone color, and it helps out balance, it helps, oh my god, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. It helps balance out any redness that might be on your face. So... I'm going to put this on as base number one all over. The second product I'm going to be using on my face as a primer is Smashbox's Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is what I like to call the original since I believe it is the first one that came out. Pat gently and then blend in. Now to prime the eyes, lo and behold, we're using my favorite product by Marc Jacobs, which is Undercover. We're gonna shellac that on our lids, and then we're gonna be moving on to eyeshadow. So today for eyes, we're gonna be using a couple different palettes, but I'll name them one by one as we go. So the first palette I'm going to be using is the Tarte's Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette, which, if you know me, is one of my favorite palettes. 
Now to start this look, we're first gonna go into this color right here called Natural Peaches. And we're gonna start by using that on our crease. And now what we're gonna do for this look, <clears throat> excuse me, is we're gonna bring it out a little further than I usually do. And we're gonna kind of meet it in an area where it's kind of in line with the end of our eyebrow. So if you can see right here, there's the end of my eyebrow. And then that's where we're gonna end our eyeshadow. And we're gonna try to make it as much of a point, but not too much of a point as possible. Next, we're going to be taking Kat Von D's Saint and Center Palette. First, we're going to start with our oranges and then slowly get into our browns. So first color on this palette, I'm going to be taking the color right here called Martyr and continuing our crease with that. The second color in this palette we're going to be using is the color right here called Devil. Now we're going to be going back into the Graveyard Girl palette using a similar shade, just a shade or two deeper. We're going to use the color called Dog Man, and then we're going to move on to our browns. We're going to go back into the Kat Von D palette and just use two more shades from this palette and then we'll move on. We're going to be taking the color right here called Crucifix and just using a little bit of that on the outer, on the outer edge. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I can never talk. <laughs> Lastly, for the eyeshadow of this part, we're going to add a slight amount of this color right here, which is called Sabbath. It's nice matte black. Now for the eyelids, I'm going to start by using Tarte's Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette because it is absolutely stunning. Before we add any shadow to our lid, I'm going to be using Tarte's Glitter Glue, we can't find the direction to go in, <laughs> as a base. It'll help the colors pop out really well. Before we do that, I'm really out of order today. <laughs> the color we're going to be using on our lid is this color right here called Splash. We might add another color just to blend it in, then blend it a little more, blah, 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 blah. But you'll see what I'm going to do. So I'm taking an old brush, filling it with glitter glue, and I'm going to start with my right eyelid. Now add the shadow and just pack it, pack it, pack it on there. Perfection! Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into that brown from the Kat Von D palette so we can do a little bit of blending up in here to make it just, just more uniform. Do a slight bit of blending. And repeat. Fix up some of that fallout. And one last blend for good measure. Now to finish up this eye look, we're going to take uh, NYX's Face and Body Glitter in shade number 6. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dab- Oh my gosh. We're going to be dabbing it slightly in the middle of our eyes, blending it outwards, using some glitter glue, and we'll be finished other than highlighting our brow bone for now. So the eyes are finished for now. I really, really like how they turned out. I see sparkles everywhere, which is good in my opinion. So we're going to work on the rest of our face and do our under eyes later. On to foundation. Today I'm using a foundation I haven't used in a while, which is L'Oreal Paris 
True Match Super Blendable Makeup Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPS 17 Natural Ivory C2 in the cool spectrum. <laughs> I haven't used this for a while, so I'm excited to try it out again. So here we go. So we're gonna go all over our face with this foundation. Hopefully it works as good as I remember. Can you even see me? I'm a little over this way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling the best today with all this stuff going on again, so. That's a very good match, Mason. Good job. And your girl forgot to highlight her brow bone, so we'll do that a little later. <laughs> See, I'm like the worst makeup person to ever exist. Especially when I'm talking about makeup because I forget what I'm doing. Onto concealer. I think I used this in my last video, but again, we're going to be using the Locket by Kat Von D. And this is in the shade L9 Neutral. You can't even see me, can you? Sorry. Mm. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Per usual, we are going to be setting with Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder. So here it is. I already have it open, so I actually can't show you, so my bad. I'm going to take a Kabuki brush today and buff the powder in. Make a nice finish. And make sure to really get underneath your eyes. Especially if you're going to prom. You don't want your makeup to start bleeding everywhere. You can bake if you want. I just don't bake right now because I'm lazy. That's really what it is. <laughs> now, before we continue, before I forget, we're going to highlight, oh, highlight our brow bone. <laughs> I'm going to go back into the Graveyard Girl palette and we're taking Big Baby, which is right here, a non-shimmer highlighting color. At this point, spoolie out your brows, define them if you want, but today I'm just going to spoolie and use brow gel. Next, curl your lashes. Now, for eyeliner, today I think I'm just not going to do a wing, but you can do a wing if you want. I think it looks super cute with this look. I'm just not feeling up to it, you guys. I'm really sorry. So I'm going to be taking one of my favorite eyeliners, the Body Shop Skinny Thin Felt Eyeliner, and it is black. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using one of my favorites of favorites. It's Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes in the Special Mermaid Edition. Now you can use whatever mascara you want and even apply, apply false eyelashes. Just today, I'm not feeling up to it. So we're just going to go all natural. So here's a better look at the eyes. So we have a couple things left. We just got to do our lippy. We got to do a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush, and a little bit of highlighter, and then that's it. So let's get to it. Let's finish up this look. For bronzer, I'm going to use a new product that I got. It's Milani's Baked Bronzer. And then this is in the cover col <laughs> color number nine, which is Dolce. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to take an angled brush. And just do a little bit of bronzing in this area. And we got some glow going on. So now for blush, I'm going to be using the Blush Neutrals 26 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics. If I can get it open. I struggle. And today we are going to be using a little bit of this color right here, which has no name. Highlighter, lips, spray, and we're done. <laughs> I decided I actually really like this look without an under eye. So if you want to do an under eye, I recommend maybe 
this gold pencil by NYX, which is just an eyeliner. Smudge it out underneath your eye and it'll give you a nice underneath your eye glow. So we're going to go back to the Graveyard Girl palette. And we're going to be using the color Gator Wings as our cheekbone, nose, filtrum, etc. highlighter. We're going to take our fingers and go in there. This is going to be a very dewy look. So if you don't want too much of a dewy look, don't use as much highlighter as me. Lastly, for lips, I'm recommending something in the plum region. So I'm taking this Feist Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the color Purgatory. It has some nice gold specks in there. Add setting spray. Alright you guys, that's it for this look. I really hope you had fun watching me and maybe doing it yourself. So look out for my next video soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it's a nice thing to do. Also hit that subscribe button down below so it can be your friend as so can I. I love you guys a lot. Thanks for dealing with me today and I'll see you later. Bye.